Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're making curry ravioli with shrimp. Now you all saw me make this for David from David's Bin here and you all were requesting it. I did have just a plain version with a ravioli curry. Um, today I'm doing the ravioli with the shrimp so we're currying that. So let me show you how easy this one is. You're gonna start with your shrimp, lightly season it with salt and we're gonna add fish seasoning chopped onions, pimento peppers chopped, bell pepper chopped, scallions chopped, or we say in Trinidad, saif, and green seasoning. Now you're gonna give this a mix and set it aside to marinate for a few minutes. You can marinate it for an hour or more if you like. You can do this recipe really quick so you don't need to marinate it that long. So to a pot, you're gonna place that on a medium low heat and we're going to add in some methi or some fenugreek seeds and some cumin or jira seeds we're going to toast this and toast these seeds until they're dark brown in color and then i'll go in with a few curry leaves and they tend to pop so you want to be very careful and if you don't have curry leaves omit it now we're going to go in with the nine spice curry powder i'm using one teaspoon of nine spice and i'm going to be using a half of a teaspoon of this mild curry powder we're going to toast this on a low heat for about one minute make sure your heat is on low because you do not want the curry to burn now it should start feeling grainy after that one minute and then we'll add in water we're going to go in with about a third of a cup of water and we're going to give this a mix and allow that curry to cook further it's going to start separating from the oil. It's going to start to thicken into a paste consistency. So this will take about a minute to two to cook. And then we'll add in the seasoned shrimp. Now you can use any type of seafood you want in this. For this recipe, you can omit the shrimp if you want also. But remember, you can't treat the ravioli as vegetarian because ravioli, that pasta, is made with eggs. So we're just gonna let this fry up in there for a few seconds. Add in a little bit of water to create a sauce. And now we're gonna be adding that coconut milk powder to create a creamy coconut sauce. Now I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of the coconut milk powder. If you wanted it richer or thicker, you can add the entire pack. So it just depends on your personal preference. We're just going to mix this, allow it to come up to a simmer. And then I'll add in one bay leaf. I'm using a cement leaf, also known as a pimenta race mosa. If you're looking for that here in the US, it's called pimenta race mosa. Now, while that's cooking, we're going to drop our mushroom ravioli. And this is just a small pack of mushroom ravioli. Um, if you are doubling this recipe, Make sure you use a pan big enough and you don't want to overcook the ravioli. Cook for one minute and then remove it and we're going to place it into the curry with the shrimp. It's going to continue to cook in here. The shrimp is like halfway cooked at this point. And we'll add in those ravioli and then toss to coat. Let it cook for two minutes because the package suggests cooking it for four minutes. So we cooked it one minute in the water. We're gonna cook it two minutes here. And as it sits in this hot sauce, it's gonna continue to cook. So you don't wanna overcook the ravioli. So at this point, it's ready. If you think you wanna add more coconut milk also at this point, do that. You wanna taste and adjust. And then this is ready to be enjoyed. This is best served hot. And everyone that tried this really loved this. They were blown away by it. And David told me he really, really enjoyed it. So this is a twist on Italian food. We made it, we made it fusion and turned it into a Caribbean recipe. Thank you all for joining me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.